Hello everyone, my name is Alan and I'll be your tour guide today. Follow me. Now, I will show you our Satorium's inside. Are you ready? Let's go. Uh, this is the national news about opening Kumsan Teleport that is broadcasted in 1970s. And these devices are the one that is actually used back then. These are old, but this is our heritage, which makes KTSAT able to provide satellite communication services to more than 80 countries. Uh, 50 years ago, only international phone call or low-speed data was allowed, but these days, after continuous upgrade, it becomes more compact and powerful to provide diverse services through many different countries. And we are ready for the next 50 years. Kumsan Teleport is comprised with five different operation teams that are teleport, broadcast, maritime, data, and system engineering. Uh, to provide stable and high quality experience to customers, Kumsan Teleport operates 24-7 and of course with proficiency in English. And let's go and see how operation center looks like. Let's go. This is our operation center and there are broadcasting and preset and teleporting. And they support full range platform service for 24-7. And I see our favorite guy Haley right there. Hello Haley. Hi. What's Hi, up? Uh, I'm good. No? Uh, could you briefly explain yourself? myself. Uh, my name is Haley and I am a member of the Teleport team and I have worked at Katie Set over three years. Okay, uh, I see you are doing some fun stuff. Could you explain what you are doing now? At first it's not a funny stuff and uh, this is the schedule for the upcoming satellite launch mission. I check the schedule and distribute our like worksheet. Uh, do you have anything say for your team, teleport mm, team? Uh, I think my team is the best because our team works a lot with other international customers. So we have plenty of opportunity to travel abroad. Mm -hmm. So for me, I think it's the best part. Mm, that's great. Okay, I won't bother you anymore. Just go. Keep up. Okay, so our next operation center will be our time center. And I'll show you next. Let's go. By the way, this is our broadcast monitoring system and as you can see, there are many monitoring panels. Pretty cool, huh? And this is the entrance of the Maritime Service Center. So this is our Maritime Service Operation Center and Maritime team is for MVC service with our Korea sets and coverage from our global partners. By using iDark platform, Maritime team provides optimized service to satisfy customers' needs. And right there, my colleague Easton is over there, so I will ask some questions to him. Let's go. Hello, Easton. Uh, hi, Alan. What's up? Pretty good. I'm just monitoring the ships in the ocean. Okay. Uh, could you briefly introduce yourself to our audience? Hi, my name is Eastern. I work for Maritime Service Team. Could you briefly explain what is actually Maritime Service? Maritime Service is a basically provide the internet service to ships in the worldwide ocean. Oh, so you can basically Google yourself in the 
middle of the ocean? Oh, no, maybe yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I won't bother. Okay, I'm gonna walk. Bye. So you have finished your tour for the inside of the center. So it's time for the outside. I will introduce some antennas to you. Let's go. As previously mentioned before, this is KSM-1, which is the first satellite antenna in South Korea, built in 1970. This guy has diameter of 27 meter, and it is the largest antenna in Kumsan Teleport. It is still operating, and this is quite amazing by considering its age and size. And I will show you the next guy, which is KSM-5. This is our antenna part, and over there, you can see our KSM-5. KSM-5 is for backup for the other antenna. And in front of the KSM-5, you can see KSM-34, which is multi-horn antenna. It can track multiple satellites at once, so it is used for the broadcast service. On your left side, you can see our K-22. And this, this one is a uh, full motion antenna. So it can track any satellites in the above sky. So it is used for the launch support mission and currently it is on the mission. Can you take a guess what this place is actually for? I know it looks like a helicopter landing place, but it was actually for the KSN2. KSN2 had a diameter of 30 meter. But because of the huge size, uh, we removed it. Rest in peace. But because of the KSN2's removal, we were able to place the other antennas back there to provide many other services. Today we went over Kumsa Teleport 4, and I hope you enjoyed the video. If you need more information, please access the website below and don't forget to press the like button. Thank you!